and Bobby is a French bulldog. He might have a cute little squished up face, but in reality, he was a bad purchase for me and my girlfriend. And the excitement that she and I felt about purchasing Bobby was mutual, but we definitely should have done our research before buying the number one dog prone for health conditions. And whether you're thinking about purchasing one yourself, you definitely need to listen to what I'm about to say. This is why a French Bulldog is a bad purchase. And some of the points I'm gonna be talking about is they're prone for health conditions, they're not very smart, and they are a lot of money. And with the health problems aspect, Bobby always has a lot of allergies, whether it's a snotty nose and he can't breathe when he's trying to sleep, or he sounds like a pig when he's trying to sleep. And he also gets a lot of ear infections too to having a small ear canal. And according to Dr. RJ Kramer with Vet4 Bulldog, the narrow ear canal is an ideal habit for bacteria to flourish and grow. Bobby also has a lot of skin irritation due to him being really low to the ground. He's always rolling around in the grass or just running around. He's got a lot of folds and flaps in his skin causing dirt and debris to get in there and cause a lot of irritation. And he's also very prone to his like subject mobility issues. Um, he, is, he could easily pull a shoulder out of place and he's also very fast, so he could potentially break a leg. He's also prone to paralysis because of a bad back, neck, or spine. And now that I've talked about the health, I wanna talk about why they're not the smartest breed out there. Bobby has selective hearing, and I know he can hear me, but he chooses not to listen. He would rather just give me this side eye. And according to Mac Daniels with the Bulldog Corner, they are one of the most stubborn breeds out there. He knows it's time to go outside, but he refuses, and he'd rather just lay on the couch and not look at me. You can't teach him new tricks. Um, I've tried, and I've tried to teach him with treats and all this stuff, but he would rather just sit there and wait for me to give him the treat than just do the trick. He doesn't like the schedule we have for going outside or learning new tricks and commands. He would rather just chill. And he barks at you when he doesn't get the treat, too which is also very annoying. He's also very easily distracted. Um, he's a short attention span. He's constantly losing track of what he's supposed to be doing, whether it's learning new tricks and commands or going to sleep or something like that. And with the easily distracted part, if he sees a shadow in the room, he'll chase after it until he doesn't see it anymore. And with them not being very smart, they're also very expensive because they're a rare breed. They can't reproduce normally. Uh, the females must have a C-section when they're giving birth. Um, there's not a lot of dogs in a litter. You typically get anywhere between three to five dogs in a litter. And they can't have the normal intercourse because their legs are so short. Um, and for some reason, they're very sought after. Everyone wants them. I guess because they're a really good apartment dog and they're really small and they don't require a lot of space. But according to money control, they have the added draw of being a dog of the stars, meaning that they're the dog that most famous people acquire throughout. But with that, they're also the number one dog to get stolen. And so they're very like high prized, if that makes sense. And when you're picking out a French Bulldog, your colors and gender are important. Whether it's a male or female, a male is always cheaper in all cases. Some of the colors conclude black, tan, brindle, and fawn, and the most expensive color of all, the blue. The blue can cost anywhere between five to $10,000. And according to Dr. Brenton England with MarvelousDogs.com, rare colors like blue, Merle, or Isabel are some of the most popular purebreds. And with a French Bulldog, the cheapest color is still $2,000 minimum. And to conclude, French Bulldogs can develop a lot of health problems they're not very smart, and they'll drain the bank. Even though I love my little Bobby a lot, even though he's the dumbest little dog I know, I would never trade him for the world. But this is why French Bulldogs are a bad purchase.